Welcome to another lesson of Fit and Strong with Mr. Ramon. Today we will be practicing some tennis skills. Obviously, homemade version addition. If we were at school, we would practice the proper ones. But since we are at home, we have to do a limited addition of what we usually do at school. If you don't have tennis racket available, as you can see, you can make your homemade one. Plastic plates, a spatula, piece of wood and some tape and you have a tennis racket. Now that we have everything set, we have to start with our warm-up. The first exercise is we will be jogging on this spot and at the same time we will be rotating our wrists 10 times. So ready to start with me? Go! 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Shake a bit and we'll continue. Again, jogging on this spot and rotating our arms 10 times again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Turn backwards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Stop again. Now, we're going to jog again on this spot and we're going to do 10 hops. Hugs are done like this, alright? So, we're going on this spot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Seven, eight, nine, ten. For our last warm-up exercise, we will be going ten times around the bottom to one side and then ten times to the other. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Now we're going to go the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The first exercise is about ball tosses. For this exercise, you have our homemade racket. You can use a table tennis ball a tennis ball or a balloon. For this exercise, I will be using the balloon, but I gave you other options which you could use. Um, the exercise can be done over 30 seconds or one minute, depending on how much you can last. What you have, what you have to do is the following. You hit the balloon without dropping it. All right? I leave it to you to try it out. The next exercise, I will be hitting the balloon with the racket, passing the racket from behind my back to the other hand and trying to hit the balloon again. I will show you a couple and then it's up to you to do it over 30 seconds or one minute or until the balloon falls on the floor. Ready? For the next exercise, you will hit the balloon twice in the air, spin around and try to hit it again. Try to do it either over a period of time of 30 seconds or 1 minute, or else see how many you can do without dropping it. Once you drop it, you start again. Ready? For next exercise, we need the balloon and the racket as before, and we also need a water bottle. What are we going to do? We're going to hit the balloon, touch the wall, and come and try and hit it again. Now, the exercise again is played over 30 seconds for one minute, 
Don't worry if it falls on the floor. Pick up the balloon and continue and see how many you can make over that period of time. So ready to start? For the final game, you have to use a table. It doesn't matter what, what size it is. To make a net, you can either use four milk cartons as I did, or else you put a chair here and a chair there, and you tie a string. You can play using a balloon, or else if you have a proper table tennis racket, you can use a table tennis ball, or if you have a tennis racket, you can use a tennis ball. If you have a partner, you can, can play against a partner. If you don't have, you can move a table towards the wall and play against the wall. So, just to show you, if you're playing against somebody, just go and another person will try to hit it back. I leave it in your hands to have a fun competition. Related to what I showed you before, playing the game, you can decide on how to divide the points and how many points you get to a set, how many sets to win a game. But then, once you have finished playing, you need to cool down. So we'll be doing a couple of stretches. The first one, we're going to stretch for five seconds, one leg and five seconds the other. So five, four, three, Two, one, change. When doing this, it's important to stare towards something that doesn't move. Next, we're going to be stretching the form of a lunge to the side. So, change. Next. We're going to do back scratchers. So, I'm going to show you. Imagine you're scratching your back. With this hand, you're pulling it down. Change. The last one, we're going to hold our elbow and we're going to push our arm towards our chest. Change. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Until we meet again, keep fit and strong with Mr. Ramon.